In the last episode, we had a look at setting up our working environment. So in the background, I've got WAMP, um, UWAMP running, um, a local server. So I'm at the address local host and I have this file loaded. So I can actually um, run my PHP and then test it out immediately. So in this lesson, we're going to have a look at variables. Variables are essentially a way of storing a piece of information. So for example, I could store my age, the value 45 is being assigned to this variable age. It's like a container or a little box to store a piece of information. It could be, um, it could be a decimal piece of information or it could be um, just an integer. The other types of information we can store in variables are pieces of text. So for example, I could store a name. I could store um, a whole sentence, whatever I'd like in this text. Um, I can also store um, Boolean values, true or false values. Um, so raining is false. The other option would be true. Um, I can also use variables to store arrays, which are like a list of object, a list of variables, or I can store objects, both of which we'll cover in another video. For today, we're just going to have a look at these main two. So as we go along and, um, and have a go at looking at variables, something that is very handy is making comments with your code. So distance equals four. So I can use the double backslashes to create a comment. This will not be run by the compiler. It will just be ignored. So it won't make any difference to your code, but it does make a big difference to the readability of it. You might forget what you're doing. Other people might be looking at your code. It might be a big project and you won't be able to remember everything. So if I just make a comment distance, that would be pretty pointless. I've already given my name uh, a variable, a sensible name. So there's no point in making a, a duplication of that. However, if I said the distance is in centimeters, that would be more useful. Um, it then tells me what unit I'm working with. So keep your comments relevant. They should supplement your code, not be a duplication of it. Right, let's have a go at some um, arithmetic operations with variables. So let's have, I don't know, number one, and we'll give that a value of five, and then we'll have number two, and we'll give that a value of 10. Now we can actually perform um, sort of uh, different calculations of this. So let's do um, answer equals, I don't know, number, number one plus number two. And when we run this, nothing happens. And that's because we need to um, output this information to the browser. So let's have a go. In PHP, we use the echo command. So we can echo the answer. And that will then print that value to the browser. We can obviously do all the different types of numerical operations we need, just as, as you'd expect. Let's try this with uh, with a string. So we've stored the value Paul, and now we're going to echo that out to the screen. So if you've retrieved a value from a database, a piece of information, you've put it inside a variable, and now you want to display it in the browser. It would probably be more useful to actually um, make it into a proper sentence. And we can do this with concatenation using the period or the full stop. 
to concatenate, to join together the sentence or the variable in the sentence. With um, PHP, we can actually output HTML directly. So we're now going to append some H1 tags directly to the comment. And this will actually build your page as you're making it. So if I open up the debugger with F12, when it decides to debug, we'll actually see the HTML is here. We won't see the PHP code, but we will see what's been echoed out by the PHP just here. So we can actually generate the page on the fly. So if you've uh, accessed a database and got a list of products or customers, you could then build some HTML directly from within PHP to display it on the screen. Very handy, very, very useful. So in the next lesson, we're going to have a look at selection, uh, making choices about the flow of the program, decision making. Okay, thank you.